actually let people live longer and have better quality of life. Better treatment of people, better prevention of the disease. We have all this information and we want to be in a position to use it for good. This is where the magic happens. Today, like every other day, researchers and students at the Faculty of Medicine at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem are creating the medicine of the future. I see two patients with lymphoma. They have the same disease under the microscope. I give them the same treatment. One of them responds immediately and she's cured, and the other one we are fighting for her life for three years and we don't understand what's the difference. And taking her data into a machine learning computer, the computer will tell me what's the uniqueness, not only about the disease of this patient, but also about the patient himself. some of our Hebrew University superstars, these brilliant scientists are working round the clock to help us live longer and healthier. Harnessing the power of computational medicine, these outstanding researchers are focused on cancer, aging, metabolic diseases, and infectious and inflammatory diseases. That means we can rest easy. In my lab, we have technologies that allow us to take cells in culture. We grow cancer cells in a plate and then we treat them with things that we know cause damage. And then we can sequence the genome and we can say exactly where the damages occur. Well, we're always trying to cure cancer, what we already know is that when you detect cancer earlier, you have a much better chance of survival. We're trying to find parameters that control drug delivery in a very precise way. We develop ways to fine-tune uh, the fabrication of nanoparticles that are loaded with drugs and that can really target cancer in the best way possible. So our lab studies the infant gut microbiome. We take lots of poop samples of infants and we look at which bacteria and viruses and fungi are found in our poop. And that basically represents what we have in our gut. Today, every doctor logs in every single test, every single observation for every single patient. And you want this ability to be able to take all this data, combine it, learn from it, and bring it back to the clinic. We're talking about taking lots of data and understanding what's in that data. Can the computer scan many, many images, see features that are harder for the physician to find when they're looking at so much information, and identify things that will help the physician by saying, look at this, you may have missed that. In the recent years, we developed a new technology in which we can, by using AI and machine learning, we can actually predict behaviors of cancer cells. And this is the really big technological a advance that the computational biology allows us to do now. The state-of-the-art Andre Deloro Computational Medicine Building has been designed with collaboration in mind. We are building a special building in our campus, bringing under the same roof all the people that are important for computational precision medicine. A staircase running down the middle of the building ensures that all floors are interconnected and open. Consider the magic of brilliant scientists and enthusiastic students running up and down stairs with breakthroughs on their minds. The physical building enables the intellectual property that is stemming from it. Actually having one place that can bring us together, that's what can bring us to the breakthroughs we need. Four floors will house cutting-edge research in addition to data acquisition and bioinformatics floors, where samples can come straight from the Hadassah Medical Center to the labs. The entry-level floor will have classrooms where students will come together and learn the latest. 
And what good would a center in the startup nation be without taking innovation into consideration? The entry floor will house the Innovation Center, encouraging tech transfer. Here, ideas will become reality. I think the Hebrew University is already at the top of the game. I think we managed to recruit and attract the top scientists that come back to Israel and want to start their own lab. Having this computational medicine center and building will definitely accelerate this effort and bring us to the next level of computational medicine in Israel. look in the future, the Center for Computational Medicine will really serve as the heart of collecting data, understanding it, and in the most effective way, translating it into better health, better treatment of patients, and better health policy in the public. I think that uh, this is a, a great advantage to our faculty, and I'm very proud about it. And this is the future of medicine.